Hi there! Have you ever thought about the design parameters for a camping catamaran? That is what I would like to discuss in this episode. There are some obvious design parameters like being able to sleep on the trampoline and sail on off from a beach. Where I live, in my environment, it's also a bit hard to find a boat ramp and also to find parking space for a trailer. Thus, it's important to have something that is possible to load onto a roof rack and carry down to a beach. The hobby cat variant that I have is a bit too heavy to lift on off from the roof rack and also to carry down to the beach. Moreover, the hulls are a bit small to fit the camping gears that I would like to load inside the hulls instead of carrying them on the trampoline. Thus, I'm thinking about a new build. Let's look into the actual hull shapes and the effect they have on the different um, properties. Today it's become popular to do a uh, reverse form of a bow, if this is a waterline. So it points downwards and the reason for that is that it cuts through the waves and uh, runs smoother through, through uh, medium sized waves. The drawback with this uh, solution is that it actually can get quite dangerous if uh, waves get too high. So plus cuts waves. Minus dangerous. Another popular form of bow is um, a vertical bow. The drawback with uh, this bow is that although it cuts through waves uh, reasonably well, it also is very wet as a previous solution. It has a lot of spray, but it's relative fast. And then we have the more traditional form of a bow where this part above the water gets uh, submerged when hitting a big wave. And thus you get some hob hobby horsing, but it's uh, rather safe. You will not dive into the waves. In my case, I'm uh, leaning towards a compromise between uh, the vertical bow and the traditional bow. Something like uh, 10 degrees off the vertical line. Uh, as I'm going to mostly sail uh, in sheltered waters, it's not so problematic that um, it dies into the waves. Although I might want to do a passage once or twice and then I don't want to have a, a bow that cuts into the waves too much. The next um, design parameters is the frontal um, sides from the bow up to, to the first uh, crossbeam. And here in my previous catamaran I have a deep V and the benefits of, of this is that um, it's less spray. The spray is deflected towards the sides, but it's slow as it has a lot of wet uh, surface area. Slow, particularly in, in slow uh, wind conditions. A compromise is a wee shape without falling upper surface areas. In that way, the spray is uh, aimed towards the sides. So this is uh, dry, but it's prone to hobby horsing, as there will be a, a lot of buoyancy in the end of the front, just like with, uh, with this traditional uh, bow. And then you can have a spherical or round sides. And this is, um, fast, especially in low speeds, but it's also a lot of slamming when you are hitting the waves. And in my case, I'm leaning towards a compromise between uh, this and this. Spherical, but not so wide. So the hull sh shape will look something like a pipe, 
but I will add support uh, stringers or if I, sh if I add support stringers they will be on the outside uh, deflecting some of the spray. Then the center part of the hull. This could also be a deep V uh, shape and uh, the benefit of this is that you do not need any centerboard but it's uh, slow for the same purpose as the front sides are slow because it has a lot more wet surface area. Of course you can have a spherical uh, shape as well. This has the benefit of being fast as it has low surface area but it's uh, a bit uh, slamming and uncomfortable in waves. And in my case I'm uh, planning to, to have a um, center that is flat in the middle and spherical on the end. And this is that I want it to be easy to assemble and I want it to be able to stand by itself the hull so that beams can be easily connected. So this is uh, self-standing and relative fast but it will probably make some noise in, in uh, bigger waves. Then we come to the aft end of the hull. Of course that can also be V-shaped. This has the benefit of being uh, easy to turn and um, the drawback of being uh, hobby horsing a bit and also slow. If we have a circular aft end, this is only fast if the water surface actually ends below bottom part of the hull. And you can have a shallow V as well. This has the benefit of being fast at high speed, but it uh, tracks bad. I will actually go with um, a rather pointy aft because this is fast. It has, uh, doesn't have so much turbulence. Then with uh, this solution where you have a deep V, you don't need any, any actual keel. The drawback is that it um, points less into the, into the wind, about 5 degrees, and the leeway is about uh, 2 degrees uh, worse than with uh, a centerboard. I will use a pivoting centerboard. Yeah, I think that's all for this time. Uh, if I don't get my drone uh, clips from the last sailing tour, released next week. It will be probably more design discussion with you. Please leave a comment if you have any suggestions or objections against my design uh, thinking here. Remember that this um, design is aimed for sheltered waters and camping catamaran for two people.